Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. Today we're going to be talking about this guy here. This is the Tour Box. So what is the Tour Box? It's basically a programmable keyboard shortcut controller. And now <laughs> you're probably asking why is this on The Blind Life? Well, uh, Torbox, the company, they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a video about it. Uh, and this looked like something that could definitely help me uh, particularly and speed up my editing of videos. Uh, but I've also gotten comments in the past from people that watch my channel and have asked me for tips and tricks on like editing photos in uh, Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop, uh, and this is, that is what this is primarily geared towards. And in fact, it is heavily marketed as being able to speed up your editing in both Lightroom and Photoshop. So I said, yeah, send it to me. We'll take a look at it. In the box, you get the tour box. It comes in two colors. There's a black and a white. They sent me the black. You get this very nice USB and it is USB-C to USB-A. And this is what you connect the Tor box to your computer with. It's a very long cable. I'd say it's right around five to six feet long. Now my first minor complaint with this is that I actually need a longer cable. Uh, I use it on a desktop and my desktop is down on the floor. And so I have to use this cable with a USB extension cable in order for it to fit reach to my computer. But, you know, minor, minor gripe. So let's talk a little bit more about the Tor box. Um, it comes with Photoshop and Lightroom presets already installed in the software. When you get the Tor box, you have to install the drivers and you have to install the Torbox software. Both of those can be downloaded from the website. It's a very simple process available for both PC and Mac. And once you install the software, the Torbox software, you can configure your presets and all your shortcuts and everything. I was able to go onto the Torbox forums and very, very quickly find a preset for Premiere Pro. Uh, I don't use that myself, but I thought, you know, maybe in the future I'll go ahead and download it. It's very easy to import and install presets. It's also very easy to export presets. So if you create an awesome preset for a particular piece of software, you can export that, share it on the forum, and let other people use that preset. That's pretty cool. The editing software that I use is DaVinci Resolve. So as soon as I loaded this in, I jumped into the software and started to create a preset for DaVinci Resolve. And creating presets is super easy, guys. Didn't take me long at all to just figure out how to do it. It's very intuitive. It's also very graphical, which I love because with low vision, I don't want to deal with a lot of text. In fact, there's a big picture of the Torbox controller on the screen. And whenever you click a button, it lights up on that picture. So you know exactly which one you are configuring. That was pretty, pretty cool. But like I said, I was able to create this preset for DaVinci Resolve and speed up my editing. I actually did. Normally when I'm editing videos, I've got a hand on the mouse, a hand on the keyboard, and I have to, there's certain keyboard commands that I click a lot, I use a lot, and I have to take my hand off the mouse because it requires two hands. And you know, it's not that big of a deal, but it does slow down the process. So having that shortcut assigned to a single button here on the tour box makes it so much easier. As I said though, you already have Lightroom presets and Photoshop presets. I don't have Photoshop, but I do have Lightroom. So I jumped into Lightroom to test it out in there and it was really, really helpful. I mean, it does, it is gonna take some practice. You gotta get used to using this instead of using a keyboard. If you're, you know, if you've always been familiar with a keyboard, you're, you're used to using a keyboard, you do need to get in the habit of using this and that's gonna take some time. But once you do, it does speed everything up. Probably the most helpful is the knob and that is used for sliders. So one of the problems that I have uh, working with programs like Lightroom, programs like After Effects, is with my low vision, oftentimes I have a hard time 
lining up the mouse cursor, the little pointer, the point of the pointer, <laughs> with the handle of a slider, the little button on a slider that you need to slide back and forth. And that's one of the best parts about this. I don't have to do that. I can simply hover over it with my mouse and then use the knob or use the little dial here to, to manipulate that slider. And they give you several options too. So the knob does large movements on the slider, but if you need to do a much slower, much more controlled movement on that slider, you can use one of these dials here. So a real quick mention about the build quality. I was really, really impressed with this. And I've seen some other reviews and every single one of them across the board, when they took it out of the box, they were like, wow, that is much more beefy, much more substantial than I thought it was going to be. And I agree. Uh, this has some weight to it. It's got these little rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not going to slide around on you at all. Even on a slick table, it's not going to move around. That's fantastic. The buttons have some great click action so if i do it up here all right great click action uh the knobs on the other hand could stand to be a little bit smoother there is a little bit of a plastic on plastic feeling um, when you move them here the mouse wheel is fine that one's okay it's mainly the big knob that i find has a little bit of, uh, it doesn't feel as smooth, but it's not bad by any means. It's just, you know, something to take note of, but the buttons are very satisfying. <laughs> the box, even the box that they shipped it in was just a really high quality box, the packaging. So kudos to Torbox for that. Okay guys, so that was my very quick overview of Torbox the uh, keyboard shortcut controller. Now, this isn't gonna be for everybody. Like I said, this is mainly for people that are gonna be doing photo editing uh, on Lightroom. They're gonna be doing graphics editing in uh, Photoshop or you know, even video editing like I'm doing, whether that's Premiere Pro, After Effects, or DaVinci Resolve. So, if that sounds interesting to you, sounds like something you could use. I will have a link to the Torbox website in the description box down below. Definitely head on over there and learn more about it. And if you have any other questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. As always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single video in the future. Thanks again, guys. We will see you next time.